In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to take a photo on a Chromebook. So if you have a Chromebook and you want to take a photo on it, there's actually a camera app and you can quite easily open that and take some photos using the built-in webcam on your Chromebook. The webcam qualities on Chromebooks are never that great and on all laptops for that matter. So if you have a smartphone or something, you'll probably get some better pictures out of that. But if you want to take a photo on a Chromebook, maybe for something quick, or maybe you don't have your phone with you or something like that, in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can do that. So when you're on your Chromebook, you'll just need to click on this circle in the bottom left hand corner, and then click on this up arrow to expand your app launcher and see all your apps. And now you'll see somewhere here, or you might have to go down to the second page or third page even, but you'll see somewhere with all these apps. You'll have a camera app here, and you'll just need to click on camera to open it. And now the camera app is open. And as you can see, it's ready to take a photo with the webcam on your Chromebook. And as you can see, it's not great quality, but it does look okay. And if your Chromebook has a better webcam, it might look even better. And you probably want to tilt it a bit to get the perfect angle, but to me, we'll leave it how it was. And then if you want to just take a regular photo like this, all you need to do is click on or tap on this shutter button here and it will take the photo. And so now it's taken a photo. So if you want to find the photo that you just took, you'll need to go into the files app down here and inside the files app under my files here, you'll see there's this camera folder now. So if you double click on that folder to go into it, you'll see the photo you just took is right here and you can open it up and take a look at it. So that's really cool. But there are also some other features in the camera app that you can use if you want. So if you click on square down here, it will take a square photo. So that can be good for certain things like maybe a profile picture or perhaps a photo for Instagram or something. You can take it with a square, but to me, I'll just set it back to photo for the regular, regular photo size. And you can also click on this button here, which will mirror the photo. So as you can see, it's now this way with Timmy's left hand here. And if you click, click on it now, Timmy's left hand is on the other side. So if you want the photo to be flipped around the other way, you can click on that button before you take it. But Timmy's going to leave it this way because it feels more intuitive this way. And if you click on here, you can actually bring up a grid. So now, you can, you'll see there's a grid here where there's these different boxes. So that can be good if you're wanting to line up your photo in some way. And if you just click on the grid again, it will take the grid away. And you can also enable a timer. So if you click here, it will enable a three second timer. So now if you take click on the shutter button to take the photo, you will have three seconds to position exactly how you want it to look. Maybe you're going to run into the shot or something. You can click the take a photo button and then three seconds later, it will actually take it. So you'll see it counted down three, two, one, and then it took the photo. So that can be cool as well. And if you no longer want the timer, you can just click on the timer button again to remove the timer. And that's really all there is to it. There's not, not a lot to this fairly simple camera app, but if you want to take a photo with your Chromebook, that's how it can be done. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this video helpful. And after you've taken your photo, if you want to crop it, Timmy has an entire video on cropping photos on a Chromebook, which you will find a link to in the description down below. And Timmy also has a video on how you can take a screenshot on your Chromebook. So if you want to take a screenshot, of your screen instead of a photo of yourself, then you can do that as well. There will be a link to that video in the description as well. So that's really cool. And hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button down below and click on the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every time Timmy makes a new video. So that's really cool. And Timmy will see you in the next video.